Silo has a nice straightforward implementation of LSCM UV unwrapping. So that will let me take a, a shape that doesn't flatten easily, like this sphere, and make a nice UV mapping so that um, we can apply a texture map to this. Let me just open my uh, 2D UV viewport. Um, if I apply this material here, you can see what this sphere starts with is just a straight top-down projection mapping. So these uh, textures along the sides are all distorted and it's not very good. Um, let me just go back to this material just to make it easier to see what's happening here. With um, LSCN unwrapping, um, first you start by, by choosing edges where you want to uh, basically have be texture seams, where you want it to unzip this shape when it's flattening it out. So if I just select um, some edges here, uh, let's say I select those and maybe a few along this axis here just to make it be able to get flatter. Um, then I can come up here and mark UV seams. I can either mark the seams or just toggle them. I have toggle marked to uh, set to U. And so now if I unselect, you can see it's showing here um, these uh, UV seams where it's going to unzip this. And so now if I just come to UVs materials, recreate UVs using LSCM unwrapping, then you can see that it's unwrapped it here. And now uh, this is not very symmetrical looking. What has happened here is the algorithm has sort of arbitrarily chosen a couple of the vertices to pin and they're marked in blue. And um, since the ones that it found were not, um, not on symmetrical places on this, that's why the unwrapping is not symmetrical. But I can, um, let me turn on live UV unwrapping to show this a little bit clearer. So now when I have live, live UV unwrapping turned on, um, if I move around vertices, it will, it will apply that LSCM algorithm to this uh, texture mapping while I move things around. So again, you can see these, these ones that it's chosen, these vertices that it's chosen in blue. Um, if I, uh, I've got the pin toggle set to P, so if I um, highlight that and untoggle that, what I'm going to do is I'm going to choose vertices that are actually um, symmetrical that are corresponding to each other. So I'm choosing both of these top ones. And now when I drag this out, you can see that it, uh, the algorithm computes this in a, a way that's uh, much more symmetrical and balanced. So now if I apply this material, you can see that the uh, UV mapping is much more um, proportional and you can go a lot further with that. But those are the basics of uh, using LSCM unwrapping in Silo.